a few miles south of the California-Oregon border, up a remote canyon on the Klamath River, the hum of heavy machinery marks the start of the largest dam removal project in U.S. history. Hundreds of workers and scores of trucks and wrecking vehicles last month began dismantling a nearly century-old concrete dam, the first of four hydroelectric dams slated for demolition in an ambitious bid to restore one of the great rivers of the West. The 33-foot-high dam known as Copco II in Siskiyou County, about a six-hour drive from San Francisco, is the smallest of the four structures being removed. For one tribe, however, the demolition of Copco II is not so much a cause for celebration but, instead, a reckoning with a painful past. The heart of the ancestral lands of the Shasta Indian nation, and the site of one of the largest historical villages on the Klamath River, is the very spot where the dam and its counterpart, Copco I, were built. The tribe was ousted from the area when the hydroelectric project went up, and longtime residents were forced to leave behind sacred sites and burial grounds, as well as part of their cultural identity. As the dam removal proceeds, many tribal members worry that relics of their past could be washed away with the free-flowing river, further eroding their spiritual and physical ties to their homeland.